That time I still like the very still we ask. Still like you give away your sister away people <laughs> like that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vereen. I'm a HR consultant. Hi, I'm Augusta. I am domestic helper. Since 2009, Nine, yeah. so about 15, 15, yeah. 15, yeah. 15 years, my yeah. family, we had a few domestic helpers. So it was more of like um, a new experience, getting to know a new person. And because uh, previously all our domestic helpers were from like Philippines uh, and so on. So I think it was interesting to have a new domestic helper from Myanmar. For me, a bit different because I've been working for first half one year, eight months. The first one, I don't understand English or Chinese also, but I got experience one year in, in eight months, so a bit okay lah. But I scared they don't like me because I don't know their staff. If they don't like me, they will send me home. So I get a bit scared, everything like that. We have changed helpers a few times, so it's more of like oh, it's the same process of getting to know the person for for August to also kind of get to know our preferences. You know what what we prefer in terms of how we want to organize our things and, and so on. The first kind they be. Um, cold and they don't like to talk. Uh. Right. Uh, the younger sister, although she don't like to talk. Uh. August to me look quite young. So <laughs> yeah, because I mean, yeah, she's quite close to me in terms of age. So I think that was generally the first impression that I could remember. The my man, okay, like she always you not know, scolding me and she keep telling me everything. Uh, if you you learn, you know how to do everything. Over the years, as uh maybe like as I started to enter uni started to work. I guess mindset also changed that like you're more mature. And then also when I found out that August was actually quite close to us in terms of age, she also grew very close to our family, even the extended family. It's also easier to talk to her. I also found out that sometimes she likes to snack. So like I will go out, if I buy snacks, I will use it as a chance to also buy for her. Ask her, do you like this? Don't like? Okay, maybe I try something else, that kind of thing. If very she like to eat chocolate and coffee and ice cream oh, yes. also she like a lot. Yeah. If mm -hmm. she go out sometimes she buy back a lot of this style. Yeah. <laughs> that, that she always share with us, the, me and her sister also. I think for me, it's very interesting because August has been with us through the whole developmental stages of my life. Like she has seen me grow from like studying to dating to getting married to having kids. It's quite good that she's always been part of the family, even with the extended family also. I mean like everyone really likes her. Whenever there are family gatherings, we always try to include her and things like that. So she's really like part of the family more than just like, you know, a helper in that sense. For me, I'm happy because they all treat me like family. Not only my man house, if you they come there, they introduce me or this uh, my sister and this your my sister daughter like this. They all treat me like a family. So if you something to eat, they will give me, they will mm. share me everything like that one. We came to find find out that August's birthday was in August. So we found it quite interesting that her name was August and then her birthday was in August. It was 8th of August. Yeah, so it's like really like 8, eight that kind of thing. From then on, we kind of like celebrated for her. We, we also like got her birthday cake. I think the first time we celebrated her birthday, she was very surprised. Yeah, then she was like, oh, kind of thing. Then, yeah, so I think then we kind of started that tradition of like also celebrating her birthday. Nobody remember my birthday. They making for me my birthday, I be quite happy. Yeah. Chinese, all the children, hey, a lot of children, they all the family know me. So for me, in happy time also. And Christmas also, we each exchange the present also. Also, got everybody give me friends and also. So I didn't go back to my country for December. So for me, the family so happy. Yeah, I think she married the time. Nah. Then we go out together. Then she, my man also stay, introduced me a, a other the the husband family also. She introduced to me this my mother in law and this my father in law. Because normally a lot of people they don't introduce to the other family. They help her. They only let the helper stay in the home. They never call the, the married the win the time. So this. Uh, very good memory for me. Yeah. We always uh, include August. I mean, even though sometimes she's also busy, you know, but she will cook together with all my aunts and everything. It's not like what she said, we don't ask her to like, you know, go out or whatever. We always ask her to join us. And everyone will also ask like, if, if August not around, like, hey, where's August? Oh, in the kitchen, cooking, helping. Yeah, I think I would say those are the the special memories. Because over the years, August also like kind of know how uh, what we like to eat, what we don't like to eat. She also started to like experiment and introduce to us like her, her food culture. I think during COVID lah. I yeah. think during COVID, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think then she went to specially buy the ingredients and then cook 
something different. I can't remember what's the dish. Mohinga. The, oh yeah, the Mohinga. Mohinga. Yeah, yeah, the Mohinga. Yeah. So we were like, oh, what's this? Because she never tells. So we were like, hey, what's this? Wow, very interesting. Then like me and my sister were very excited because it's like she's showing us a, a glimpse of her culture. Then it was very, it was quite nice also. Then August even told us that she specially went to buy the ingredients to cook for us. Then we were quite touched by it. Yeah. Shows that she was really willing to like, you know, go out of her way to show us her culture and, and, and so on. Sometimes I just want to try different things there. I think the time I go out there, after that I buy back something. Covid the time they cannot go out, so I just want to try change the food. So I try to cook for Myanmar food. My mom also never eat something different food like that one. So uh, I see the two sisters eat my food, so they say very nice mm. and so for me, I cook so I happy. They like the Myanmar food. That time I still like the very stay we ask. Still like you give away your <laughs> sister away, be <people> bad like that. <laughs> COVID 19, they need they stay in the house. After she mm. married, she had children. One, the first daughter, we stay, she stay in the mother house there. We can stay see there. Nah. And the house is always very noisy because of baby. After their house finished, they came back so the house will be quiet, a bit mm. sad. Uh. But sometimes they come back also, uh, but a bit different. Normally, mm. if you, they always, if you, they go to work, they come back, uh, always very noisy house. Then they change so quiet like that. After that, you all see the young, the time that they marry, that they, they have their own family, happy for them. Uh. But after that, they come back with the baby. I also very happy for them because the baby is so cute. She come back <laughs> the time. But for me, I don't know how to carry baby yet. But Sana for a few weeks and few months there, we okay with the baby. After shifting, I think I started to appreciate uh, August a bit more. I mean, in terms of like the most most importantly is the cooking because I realized that no matter how hard I try using the same ingredients, yeah, August standard is always is different. Yeah, it's cannot. Yeah, it's unachievable. That also helped me to kind of bond a bit more with her because then sometimes when I go home, I'll ask her, "Hey, August, how do you cook this? What do you use? What ingredients?" Then when she tell me, "Oh, it's just these ingredients," I'll be like, "Huh? That's it? So simple? How come I can't get the same kind of taste?" Sometimes they got come back and for Saturday they come or Thursday they will come. But Saturday, Sunday they always play Majo. This stuff oh. is a happy time. <laughs> Aside from the language, I think it was mainly just get having August get used to like our preferences. Uh, because you cannot understand English and Chinese also. Normally they don't use a lot of Chinese also. Mm. Uh, the English also I cannot understand a lot. So if you there start I put around but they will tell me probably this one not my style you can put there. I mean the good thing is that because August is also quite adaptable. I think once we tell her then I mean she knows that okay maybe we don't like it this way and then I think she will just arrange it a different way or keep it in a different way. Because of the whole uh, Memma situation. Then I think there's a point in time where August was very concerned about her family. We also like you know have been asking her how's her family, uh, are they safe? Even my mom could also sense that like August was very worried during that period, and then like she would like really call her family, make sure they are okay. Before I go back, my mom keep telling me, uh, you very careful. You don't go to your sec. Better call your family, can and pay you." When, when she went back to Myanmar to visit her relatives, I think we were also quite concerned for her because don't know whether she can come. Back. We told her like when you go there, really be careful. Uh, we hope to, we hope that you can come back right, in that sense. And <laughs> uh, not only very the older daughter also, our auntie, you go back okay not? She also asked me like oh, that. Yeah. She know how to talk a bit later. Then she asked me like that also. Well, I I thought to them that if you I show them all the the time very married the time all the family, I also take with the family photo. I go back I show them. Then they say all oh, the family got sister but No, this is my man man. Why are your man so young like that? Or oh, the daughter also so young married already. Yes, I'm married. Yeah. My eldest daughter, Emery, sometimes she will also um, sneak into August's room and then join her. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. If you <laughs> I talk to <laughs> so my family, also the older daughter also yeah. always talk to my auntie, all my family, all my sister. Right? But the my the side that they don't know how to say anything, they just say hello, hello, like <laughs> that one. The hello, baby, my uncle also, hello, baby, hello, baby. And the older daughter also say, she just smiling like that. Normally, if you Emily come to my room, then if you are talk to my family, I always open a video call. All my family say they like her also because she's so cute. I think for me, it's really like, like wow, like August really, really has been there for us throughout all these years. Like my daughter is very close. I'll say it's quite close to August also. Uh, she would like always like, oh you no, know, uh, Auntie August, I'm playing Auntie August. Happy with the children, so we play no problem at all. The children 
she young the time not older also if you cook something for her she will always eat after that and the other thank you for the food she always told me like that August like you know cook meals for 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 my daughter she will really finish everything and that sort of thing sometimes if you, you see that family they speak to uh, speak time together I feel lonely yeah because you, you know you are kind to the other people uh, can, uh, other country you one person if you something happen also you miss your family so sometimes if you their family they sit down and talk together, I feel very lonely. So sometimes I just call my family that I talk to me. Yeah. Maybe a few years after, they, if you, they talk, that they call me, they ask me about my family, uh, how is your family, then you go out, you go where, this is the thing. So then I feel like, oh, I can stay work and happy here also. If you are going, you might stay me then. Because you know, you stay in the Singapore and walk very long, and you go back, everything different. You want to go travel also different. You want to eat food also different. Mm. So I miss that. Sometimes I go, I go tell my mom also, I go back there, I eat, eat and sleep, eat and sleep. I come back very fast. Then my mom say, you don't, next time you go back, don't don't eat so much already. You come back like, very fast. <laughs> Sometimes my mom also always buy for me food a lot. There's another man, you don't buy for me a lot of food, really. I become pretty weird, really. I always do that like that. Normally, some of the helpers also, they don't enough food, got some mm. people help. Myself. I mean, obviously, August cooking, that's one, my favourite, yeah. <laughs> but I think also that because like she always takes care of our family, like, I really appreciate that she also really uh, plays with my, my kids and really kind of accept us for who we are, despite sometimes maybe we maybe very grumpy or we may have like very weird requests, that kind of thing. Some of the uh, helpers, if you help her walk to the other place, one the children never talk to them, they never speak that properly, they say they are helpers, I don't care them like that. They don't say bad things about me. If you send me, I do wrong, so she they told me properly. One. For my family, we felt that we should always treat our helpers with respect. They have come a long way from where they are, they are alone here, so they are still human in that sense. As much as possible, we should at least make them part of the family, provide for them, care for them. They are here to help us, but we are also here to kind of... I mean, there's, there's still that working relationship, but we should still treat them with respect because they are still human. Uh, when I first came to their home in 2009, I was a bit scared and worried that their family may not like me, as I don't know, know that when they like or don't like me. When I first met Veri, she was 70 years old and in college. I thought she was cool and don't talk, don't like to talk. As our age different, it's not the white, very treat me like an older sister. When I need help to buy stuff for shopping or grab, she will always advise and help me. And when we get married in 2018, I was also very happy as I I have seen her growing up for a college girl. Two years later, very give birth to her other girl, Emery, who I am very close to, also very family, was staying with my mother and sir while waiting for their new flat. It was also during the COVID, and we spent a lot of time together in the house. Now the house is quieter as she had moved out and studied in family of her room. I missed her, but I always remember the happy time. Yeah, August, uh, thank you for being an important part of our family over the past few years. I personally find it amazing that you have seen us grow from immature young teenagers to adults and even having our own kids but still so very patient and understanding with us. Thank you for constantly feeding us with your delicious cooking. My favourite being the yellow and white Hokkien noodles, the fried rice and curry chicken. Simple yet delicious and it is something that I still cannot replicate today even with the same ingredients that you use. I appreciate those times where you tried to teach me how to cook certain dishes and uh, sharing with me cooking tips and advice. Thank you for also accepting and tolerating uh, my daily quirks and odd requests when it comes to food preferences, grumpiness, and when it comes to organizing uh, my personal items. Uh, I appreciate that you always take it in your stride and it also teaches me to be patient and accepting now that I have two kids who are starting to have all sorts of demands and requests. So thank you for being the best playmate to Emery, whom you are willing to give your 100% hundred, uh, hundred attention to and letting her tie your hair into all sorts of crazy hairstyles. <laughs> 
She absolutely loves it and would frequently ask to play with Auntie August whenever I mention that we are going over to Ama's house. I also really appreciate the times where you will cook delicious porridge for Emery whenever we tell her that this is Auntie August pumpkin porridge. She would finish it all right down to the last piece of corn. I can only hope that it is the same with Erin and I can already see that Erin uh, warming up to you as part of our family. It has been a long way since you first came to our family in 2009 and there were a lot that we learned about you as a person from your birthday, your snack breakfasts, uh, your coffee and family back home in Myanmar. While there may have been ups and downs throughout the years, um, I can only hope that you always take away the happy memories. So thank you, <laughs> Annie, for you know all these years. <laughs> <Hello>? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. Comment down below what else you'd like to see. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye! Bye.